Welcome guys, welcome back to the Healing Ground. Today we'll be doing an episode for Pisces for the month of December in regards to love and a general reading basically. Already tuned into the collective energies, tuned into my guides, your guides, collective Pisces for the month of December. What's going on with y'all? So Pisces for the month of December, what's going on with them? How should they end out December? The end of 2019 spirit, what's up with they eat? Let's get one more. Can y'all see that? Let's see. Sure. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So we got the Eight of Cups. Can y'all see that? Oh, that shit pretty. Look how it's glistening off of that shit. What the fuck? <laughs> got the moon. We got the Six of Cups. Interesting. Pisces. And then we got the Two of Wands. So starting off, I already feel some inconsistency. Pisces. You're dwelling in the energy from the past. For one, first of all, let's start off with this Eight of Cups energy. This Eight of Cups right here, basically, you're wanting to move forward with something, but you're stuck in all of this right here. Excuse me with my bad finger. Excuse my nails. So with this with this eight of cups, with this eight of cups for one, with this eight of cups for one, it's in reverse. So Pisces, you're 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 dwelling in some type of energy that you want to move forward to something, but you're stuck within this right here. Like these all of these cups that's behind him, that's behind him as he's looking forward out to the moon out to the mountains out to you know the the stars and all that good shit basically out to a new journey basically that's what he's doing that's what you want that's what you want but you're stuck in this energy right here in hope of some type of emotional balance you're stuck in your feelings right now you're trying to one balance your feelings and you're in a you're in a state of feeling unwanted resonate with who it may resonate with Wanting something more, but you're trying to control your feelings. Like you're in a, you're you're fighting. You're, you're fighting what you want right now. Why? Why are you fighting what you want, Pisces? You're you're fighting what you want because you're stuck in the past. The Six of Cups is basically past energy, reconciliation with the past. Whether it's with a lover, whether it's with career, whether it's something you're not trying to let go in the past you're stuck in this past energy that's why you all mixed up in your feelings because you're trying to make a decision you have the two of wands the two of wands is in regards to one could be in regards to partnership and two in regards to making a, making a decision you're you're stuck between two different journeys one leading to the future one leading to a brand new journey and then one in the past hoping for Something better. Let's get some sexual magic. Interesting, 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 interesting. Get some of these babies. Get rid of all the Pisces. Having it to Pisces for the month of December. Welcome in my gods, my spirit gods, and my angels to my passions of Pisces. For the month of December, give me a clear reading on your energy spirit. This is the Pisces for the month of December. Pisces for the month of December. So, Pisces. Pisces for the month of December spirit. Work hard. Not 
four, not five. Just one. <laughs> Got the King of Wands in the back of the deck. So we got the the Eight of Pentacles, Knave of Wands in reverse. Got the Knave of Wands in reverse. And then we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Five of Chalice. I'm quite beginning to understand what's going on. I see, I see, I see. The emotion you're dwelling in, let it resonate with who it resonates with, but... Pisces, you're ready to break free is what I'm hearing. You have the <laughs> you have the Eight of Cups right here. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles right here, my love. You have the Eight of Pentacles right here. Basically the Eight of Pentacles in reverse in regards to the sexual in regards to the sexual magic tarot deck is basically telling me that you don't want what's being offered to you anymore it's not stimulating you whatever you're in right now whatever you're dwelling on is not stimulating you anymore you don't feel that urge of fulfillment that want you're longing for something more because that imbalance within your emotions Within this mixed energy, this relationship is throwing you off within your finances, too. You have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, too. It's stressing you out and it's worrying about this past energy that's not fulfilling you anymore. It's not fulfilling you anymore. And you see my shawty right here? Sis right here is looking into that glistening pull for more like she's wondering like eh, should I go or should I listen to him or should I stay within these options I don't know what to do I don't know what to decide but it'll fucking look good as fuck over there I look like I would be fucking re-fucking born in this goddamn tub that spiritual bath ass shit a new fucking woman like mm. Mm. you're making decisions 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 because this five of chalices is basically her, like, trying to balance out what she really wants. She's looking at herself within this water, if you can see it. You see the face? She's looking at herself in the water. She's looking at her inner self, trying to think about what she wants. Not worried about pleasing all this other shit, which is making her unhappy, or he or she... Energy is making her unhappy, throwing off her and her abundance and stuff. Excuse me. Take it how it resonates. Her, him. Let's get you some moon cards as well. Let the moon be your guide. You guide. Mm hmm. The end of a tough cycle approaches. I feel like this is more so in regards to that energy that you've been dwelling in for one. The energy you've been holding on to for two. <laughs> that struggle that you've been debating about within your balance, within your energy. Emotionally, physically, spiritually. Was draining you. All that's going to come to an end. But if you just listen to the goddess, listen to yourself, my love, listen to yourself. Adjustments are required because you need to stop dwelling in the past. Look forward to the future. Look forward right now to the present on what you want. Within the month of December, you're making decisions and Spirit is trying to tell you, Pisces, to start doing more of what you want to do. 
Do what you want to do, Pisces. In regards to making a decision, if it's in regards to that job that's not making you happy no more, that girl or female that's not making you happy anymore, like, it's not stimulating you, whatever you're doing is not stimulating you anymore, you're dwelling on it and you're trying to make decisions in regards to it, and Spirit is trying to tell you to listen. Listen and go within. Go back to your childhood. Do what makes you happy. Get some magical love oracle cards real quick. Let's see what y'all got. Okay. Appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. Look how pretty that shit is. That shit is pretty as fuck. And then you got like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. Draw in that energy that you need to. But you first have to release and look at the energy that you're in right now. If you look at the goddess right here, what I notice the most about her is her searching within this shell. The beauty within it, the vision within it. Appreciating that moment of guidance, one. And also showing her that within this small object, there's more to whatever the fuck she's dreaming and hoping. Within this vast ray of the sea, there's more. There's more to venture off into. Appreciate the moment that you're in, but also realize that you have to grow. You have to realize growth. And within growth, you have to realize what you need to release and what you need to keep. Open up your heart. And you also have the two up here. Yeah. Open up your heart and go into what makes you happy. Most of is basically telling you that once you start appreciating you, Pisces, once you realize how beautiful, how radiant you are, you attract that same energy. Just appreciate the moment you're in. Live in the moment. Basically what Spirit is saying, whatever situation or outcome comes to you within December, regardless if it's negative, regardless if it's positive, to look at the outcome within it. How is it helping you, one, grow, and two, the cycle of completion within that, too, is completed, too. And look at it through, ooh, look at her. Look at it, how she's looking within that show. So yeah, Pisces, I believe in you. Y'all got this. Keep the energy and the vibes going. We love you. Much peace, love, and light. And see you later.